This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. We had an outstanding guest on Mark Bell's Power Project. What else is new? We had a lot of outstanding guests on Mark Bell's Power Project, but this guest, his name is Joel Green, and he shared some stuff with us that absolutely blew my mind. You want to make sure that you check out the entire episode. You can check it out on iTunes. We're also on YouTube. It's the episode with Joel Green. But what you're about to see is really shocking and really amazing. And it's a question I get asked all the time. In fact, people sometimes will spend 10, 20, 30 minutes badgering me about whether you can drink and be on a diet and have success and, and have the uh, alcohol not affect you negatively. Well, Joel, in this video, gives you a hack that you won't believe. Make sure you check it out. If you want to see the entire episode of Mark Bell's Power Project and you want to check out the entire podcast, click the link below. But here's 10 minutes of Joel Green telling you how to hack drinking alcohol and getting away with it. Bye. Uh, hi, my name is Joel Green, CEO and founder of the Veep Nutrition System and also the founder of Transcend. That's transcend.fit and veep.com. And today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, which is how to hack alcohol consumption. So this is actually much easier than you might suspect. <clears throat> so the first thing to understand about alcohol is that alcohol does not convert to fat. Alcohol converts to acetate, which is burned off for energy. The thing to understand is that acetate, when it's present, has preference over carbs and fats. So the first thing you need to understand is that when you're having alcohol, you want to limit the intake of carbs with alcohol. The second thing to understand is that very specific types of foods can help you metabolize alcohol faster. So for example, uh, asparagus contains two key enzymes that help metabolize alcohol, alcohol dehydrogenase and another. So taking asparagus with alcohol actually speeds up the rate of alcohol metabolism. Broccoli also can help you increase the rate of alcohol metabolism. Broccoli, broccoli contains sulforaphane, and sulforaphane has been shown to also speed up the rate at which alcohol gets metabolized. The next thing to understand is that when you drink alcohol, you deplete B and C vitamins. And so an easy way to fix that is just simply to have like an emergency or some vitamins before and after you drink. And what this does is it gives your body the raw materials it needs to metabolize the alcohol faster, and it'll help you not get a hangover. Finally, the key thing to understand <clears throat> is that alcohol in some ways is a negative, but in some ways is a positive. For example, studies with heavy drinkers have shown that when you just give them alcohol, they actually drop body fat because alcohol is thermogenic in nature, meaning it heats you up, makes you burn energy. So the key to hacking this is to understand that protein is also thermogenic. When you combine the right kind of protein with alcohol, you actually get an additive effect. You actually boost metabolism. So the question is, what kind of protein? And the trick really has to do with fish. So the negative about alcohol is that it inflames you. Certain types of fish, like cod, for example, actually are anti-inflammatory in nature. In fact, cod has been shown to lower C-reactive protein. So when you combine cod with alcohol and things like asparagus, you increase metabolism, decrease inflammation, and increase the rate at which alcohol gets metabolized. Using this, along with things like uh, B and C vitamins, you can actually have your cake and eat it too.